In this video, we will review some basics of equine recurrent uveitis. So equine recurrent uveitis is an important condition in horses as it is the number one cause of blindness in this species. So it's basically an autoimmune syndrome uh, that develops after an episode of acute uveitis. So it's important to keep in mind that not all the animals that develop acute uveitis are going to have equine recurrent uveitis, but having acute uveitis is a predisposing factor. So there are different infectious causes associated to um, equine recurrent uveitis, and Leptospira is one of the most studied. However, the exact mechanism is still unknown. This syndrome has a high prevalence in tropical and temperate climates and it's considered multifactorial because it depends on the underlying cause, genetic components and also other environmental factors. The classic signs of acute uveitis could be unilateral or bilateral and those include acute flare, blepharospasm, corneal edema, epiphora, episcleral congestion, and fibrin in the anterior chamber. Uh, for the diagnosis, uh, it's important to do a complete ophthalmology exam and also to run a fluorescent test to assess for the corneal integrity and exclude reflex uveitis. The serological test for lepto is also important in some cases. The treatment could be systemic or topical. The most commonly anti-inflammatory that is administered systemically is flunixin, uh, but be aware that you may need to use omeprazole to prevent gastrointestinal ulceration. Local steroids are contraindicated uh, in cases of ulceration or infections, Prednisolone and dexamethasone are also used, but be aware that these could cause laminitis. 